Drew, Drew, stop. stop. Right. What's up, guys? I'm Drew Hunter. Welcome to our crib. I hated that. <laughs> Get out there, let's just give it our best. That's all the sports about, all right? So I moved to Boulder in September of 2017 and I real quick just back and forth with Reed got a two bedroom apartment in like Southeast Boulder and Quickly fell in love with the place, um, fell in love with the idea of having kind of like a, you know, some sort of like home, something where everyone could meet and kind of come together. And when Sam moved out here and then, you know, we kind of had the first generation of guys um, all start to move out, I really started to kind of look for a place to buy. Welcome. So this is, uh, this is the meeting way. The, the entry, um, two important pieces here. First, we have this um, amazing uh, piece of art that we had uh, a friend make for us. And what he did was he took a bunch of Ben's photos um, and kind of turned them into our, uh, our logo. Um, as soon as we saw it, we knew it had to be a staple in the house. And then this over here was the first thing I was gifted once I bought the house. So. Um, had to put those right in the entryway, mean a lot to me. Coming into the main floor, um, this is, I'd say where we spend 95% of our time. Um, we have the speaker right there, we got the TV and you know, any time of the day you come down here, there will be some Tin Man guy over here, um, hopped on the couch and just, just kicking it. It's a pretty open space, the door's never locked, I probably shouldn't say that, but. Kitchen, same thing. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, just a few stories. We have all of these wine bottles were from um, quarantine when we would have like a wine night once a week. And so we just kind of collected those. A few, a, a few amazing memories that we had such a um, good positive crew uh, here when um, things were kind of stressful in the world. Over here, we have our protein. X endurance supplement uh, drawer. So just every morning after workouts, we're coming straight here and refueling. I think this like mini fridge over here is like one of my favorites, um, just because <laughs> got the hard seltzers, the beers. That's all for the guy behind the camera. Um, in case you guys are wondering, um, but yeah, I think this is kind of like clutch, just because we normally put all of our um, beverages there. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's check out out back. Oh, look who it is! Um, so this is the back porch area. If you look to this no porch. side, okay, this is the back. <laughs> this is the backyard back. patio, one might call it. Uh, we have a nice grill over here. Uh, just lots of hanging out. A lot of times we'll have the team over here just after a hard workout or on weekends and just kind of sit out here and shoot the breeze or play cards. Got a, the nice hammock back there. One of the gr great new additions to the house in 2020. Yeah. Christine brought that over here during quarantine and, and now it's, we've, we've kept claimed it. it. We've claimed it. So anytime I'm sad or trying to figure my life out, I'll just come to this hammock and look straight up. So this is the <laughs> bird's eye view or whatever of what I've been doing the last few months. So to the basement now, we have some, uh, there's no lights, but one of Drew's stop Drew signs from high school. Pretty makeshift basement right now. Um, have a bunch of gear, Adidas gear that they sent us. This is kind of the guest room couch. This is where I slept um, on Drew's floor when I first moved to Boulder. So this was gifted to me by one of my dad's best friends my senior year of high school and is definitely uh, one of the most thoughtful, uh, just really, really inspiring gifts I've ever been given. It's like basically every sub four minute miler in high school um, at the time. 
and he, what he did was he reached out and got them to write me um, like a handwritten note and gave their signature. So I'm sure you've heard of some of these people. Um, Jim Ryan, um, Lucas Erzbigas, Alan Webb, Grant Fisher, um, just to name a few. Um, but the cool, the two coolest stories I think of this uh, of this poster is the Roger Bannister signature. So obviously he was the first person to ever break four minutes in the mile. Mr. Poole um, spent like six months trying to get this signature. Um, and then the other cool story is Tim Danielson. Um, he actually is in prison and Mr. Poole wrote back and forth to him in prison and ended up getting um, getting his signature. And really cool, uh, just, just a very, very thoughtful gift. And um, I'm gonna take this uh, Wherever, wherever I live the, uh, the rest of my life, this will be coming with me. All right, and now on to the room of the house, which is really what makes this Tin Man HQ, and that's the office. Some of my favorite things in the office, uh, this one's really cool. This is uh, basically our free stuff suitcase. So whenever we get in new products that we don't really have a place for them. This is kind of when people come to visit, they can grab whatever. So some of the things we have in here, we've got some extra whoop bands. We've got extra speed suits that came in the guy's distro. We've got some misprints from some of our old stuff. Um, you can pretty much find anything in here and it's a nice way to uh, give some stuff to the people that stop by the house. Um, another piece that I love in here is our two folding tables. We do all of our fulfillment out of this office. So when we actually have a drop, this place is just an absolute madhouse. We have guys running in and out, packaging, sorting, inventorying, folding, all that good stuff. And these two tables have been through all of the drops with us. So we kind of mark it up and it's a nice way to uh, kind of keep the history of um, what we were doing in that time, there's some weird stuff written on here, there's some funny stuff, there's some motivational stuff, and it's just kind of like our little uh, collage of random weirdness. When we were half building out the space, we knew that we wanted some whiteboards in here uh, because we do a lot of our ideation, whether it's planning for long term or what we're just doing for that week. Uh, we just mark up these whiteboards to just get our ideas out and working on them and ready to go. Uh, and yeah, this is my happy place. This is my office. My bedroom is literally right next door. So right through that wall right there. So everything in my life is kind of centered out here and I absolutely love it. Before we head upstairs, comment below out of all the Harry Potter movies, which one is your favorite? And if it's not The Goblet of Fire, you're wrong. This is upstairs living room. Uh, these are also couches. Actually, these were Craig Ingalls' parents' couches from college too that we put in a U-Haul and I drove out here with. Yeah, we do all our like pre-run mobility work with here with the bands. We have all the foam rollers and balls and everything you could possibly need to get the body warmed up before the run. We have some uh, something that my dad does for me. I actually was born in 1994 during the World Cup and. Every single year uh, for the World Cup, my dad always gets me the World Cup poster. So these are some that I decided to bring with me, not all of them. Let's take a look inside my room. Uh, pretty simple. Need to definitely get some new artwork in here. Definitely still have the college vibe going. Uh, we'll check out some of these shoes. I love. Uh, cream and white shoes, so these are kind of like the two go-to's, wear these all the time. The Adidas Gazelles and the Ultra Boost 1.0's. I actually can give you a peek at this too. This is like a just a sample shirt of something that's coming up in the Grayscale collection too. Gonna have the print. This is probably the nicest shirt we've ever made, like running shirt. Like it has totally breathability through the shoulders, has the 3M reflective. Adidas print on the side, Tin Man logo, and the Grayscale Boulder Colorado on the back right there. So this is pretty cool. This is like the this was a gift from Coach Geiger at NC State before I left. This is basically like the Adidas Bible. It has like every single thing that has like ever happened in Adidas history. Um, 
and it just like gives like a this is like the German soccer team when they had the first Adidas kicks and they won the national title after Adi Dossler, the founder of Adidas. Uh, it was like a wet game, and he like put in the clips into the bottom of the shoes, and they went on to win. So it's like this famous story, and there's all this like such cool archival pictures of footage and everything. And I love going through here for like any type of inform like inspiration behind product that we're doing or anything it's can all be found in here I mean come on like look at these people <laughs> they're awesome I have these like little notes all around my room just like little reminders like little trinkets that uh, just are just good reminders nature rewards the courageous where are all the dreamers and just a little pause note to myself that like to start the day just always take a moment to meditate be mindful All right, next up we got my room. Welcome to my crib, MTV. I don't even know if you exist anymore, but here we are. Big things, um, it's my USA kit from when I made NACAC. Hopefully we'll have another one soon. If World Half ends up coming to fruition, I plan on framing every kit that I get so that I can look back on them in my career and be like, all right, cool. I was kind of good at this thing. Uh, <laughs> This, Sam has a similar photo in his room, but this is a canvas print that I got um, after USA's in the 10K in 2018. And I ended up finishing fourth and qualifying to represent the US for the first time internationally. So a huge moment for me. And then also just a big kind of validation for our team. This was the first US championship we went to all together. And this was the first night of it. So really just set the tone for the weekend. And it's a memory that I'll hold, always cherish Actually right here. These are the sunglasses that I wore in Atlanta. You can see there's a nice chip out of them on the left side. Um, so I keep them there. Basically this is like one of the most important moments of my running career in a positive way and then the sunglasses are a good representation of like another really important moment for me as a runner but in a not so positive way. Um, so just a fun way for me to just remind myself of the, the highs and lows that come with running and just keep myself grounded when I wake up in the morning and, and see that every day. All right, so this is the master bedroom, AKA my room, so I bought the house, kind of fair. So um, one of the actually kind of recently discovered things um, that we uh, have been doing the last few months is um, coming out to my roof. Um, so you just take these plants down Put them over here. I'll see you guys later. You get the best sunset view right over there. So we'll come here post dinner, have some good talks, and uh, yeah, this is definitely becoming uh, one of my favorite places to be. It's a little note message uh, that I try to try to live by, um, be the path. It's just kind of like a constant reminder to be present in all situations and it's good to wake up in the morning and see this. And then what most people think is the best part of the whole living area is the closet. So this is where uh, Max stayed for his first, what, three months in Boulder mm -hmm. when he came out over the summer. Just put a mattress right here and wake up at the same time every day and it was actually quite perfect there's no light here so he slept like an absolute baby because it was just lights off and it was just pitch dark and silent here so actually a pretty good place to sleep a few of my favorites from as far as shoes and clothing go um i love this collab that adidas did the a life collab so these are the old dirty ones that I wore everywhere and then I just got these so the new black and white ones this jean jacket was created by a friend looks normal here and then on the back you got the custom Tim and Elite sunset so a very very cool gift thank you Grace um, one of my favorites Hi right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, inside look at Drew House here in Boulder, Colorado. Got a look at what we're wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, what our closets are like, who needs to do laundry, everything in between. So thanks for hanging out with us today.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom, closet. Whoa! Didn't see you there. <laughs>